Welcome back to another episode of Demetra's Dishes. Now, if you're like me, you're trying to get more veggies on your plate this year, and I have a delicious way for you to do that today. I've combined two of my favorite foods, pastizio and stuffed peppers, and I bring to you today pastizio stuffed peppers. Now, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to make this vegetarian, low carb or keto, whatever you wanna call it, or you could just make it the same exact way I'm making it. This is delicious. It goes, it's a few ingredients that go a very long way. So it's pretty inexpensive to make. Let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. We're gonna need 250 grams of your favorite pasta, whatever you have on hand. If you have elbow pasta, it would be great, but this is what I had, so this is what I'm using. Some dried oregano, some black pepper, crushed red pepper flakes, a small onion, one pound of ground beef. You could use chicken or turkey, whatever you have on hand. This is a 15 ounce can of tomatoes that I've pureed, some olive oil, salt, some whole garlic cloves. I have one, two, three, four, five here. Then I have different colored bell peppers. You could use whatever color you have and a zucchini. So you can use any vegetable that you have. You can do this with eggplant, zucchini, bell peppers, or a combination. So I'm doing a combination of zucchini and bell peppers. I have this one big giant zucchini. That's what I'm using today. And I have all these sweet, delicious bell peppers. This all begins with roasting the bell peppers. So you wanna make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna prep them. So what I'm gonna do is they're, they've already been washed and dried, so I'm just gonna cut them in half, and I'm just gonna remove the seeds. And you could use the help of your knife to do that. Get them all out. Seeds are bitter. You do not want them in here. But I do leave the little green stem on because it looks pretty. And um, why take it out? Then it kind of you kind of break up the pepper and then you ruin it. So you want to have the pepper intact. The bell peppers are prepared. Now I'm just going to cut this zucchini in half, and then I'm going to cut it down the center in half too, so we can have four pieces. If you have normal sized zucchinis and they're not this big, then just cut them down the middle in half so you could have two pieces. And then take a little melon baller or a spoon or this little mini ice cream scoop, whatever you have, and just carefully take out the center, all of the pulp, and leave a little bit of a border so that way they do not fall apart. Now we're gonna use this um, zucchini pulp in the meat filling, so we're not gonna waste anything. Okay, now the veggies are pretty much prepared. We're gonna put them in the baking dish. I'm gonna drizzle them with olive oil, a quarter to a third of a cup, and rub the olive oil all over and season them just a little bit with some salt. And now I'm gonna bake these on the center rack of my preheated oven. Again, it's preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna let them cook in there for 20 to 30 minutes or until they begin to soften. And in the meantime, we're gonna work on our meat sauce. So I'm gonna begin by chopping the onion. I'm just gonna finely chop it. And then I'm gonna cook it over medium high heat with about a quarter cup of olive oil until it's nice and soft and golden. So once the onions are nice and golden, go ahead and finely chop the garlic cloves and add them to the onion and olive oil mixture and let them cook until they're nice and soft. That can take about three to five minutes. Do not take your eye off the pan because if once garlic burns, it's over. You have to start all over. You just want it to get really nice and sweet and caramelized, so that's happening. Also bring a pot of water to a boil and then go ahead and add the pasta to it with a little bit of salt and let it cook according to package instructions. So my pasta says to boil it for nine minutes, so I'm gonna boil it for eight minutes. I like to cook it al dente because it is also gonna bake in the oven. Now here's a little thing about the pasta. If you're doing this low carb, then of course you wanna leave the pasta out of this and maybe just make a double batch of the meat sauce so you have enough meat to fill the bell peppers with or whatever vegetables you're filling. You could even throw in some more vegetables into this. Chop up some more zucchini, chop up some bell peppers, add some roasted bell peppers from the jar, maybe some mushrooms to make it a little bit heartier. It is completely up to you. Get creative with it. And also, we are going to make a bechamel sauce to cover this with. You would leave the bechamel sauce out if you're making this low carb. If you're making this vegetarian, I have a delicious vegetarian meat sauce recipe on this channel, and I will link it down below and in the card section. You could just go on and make that filling instead with the pasta. It is gonna be absolutely delicious. So now I'm just gonna wait for the garlic to finish cooking, then we're gonna move on. Next, we're just gonna add the ground beef to the onion and garlic mixture, and go ahead and break it up with a wooden spatula. Next, I'm gonna add the zucchini pulp that I took out of the zucchini earlier, the pureed tomatoes, some salt, dried oregano, a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes, which is optional. If you don't like the heat, leave it out. And some freshly cracked black pepper. 
And I'm just gonna mix this up and I'm gonna let it cook until the meat is perfectly cooked and until the zucchini breaks down. You should not be able to see it at all. You should not be able to see it at all. It's literally gonna melt. And um, until the sauce is nice and thick, it's gonna take about 15 minutes over medium high heat and I will show you what it looks like as soon as it's done. So after 15 minutes, your meat sauce should be cooked. If you're cooking it on a medium high heat, the zucchini will have melted. Go in and give it a taste and adjust the seasoning if it's needed. Put a little bit more salt or pepper or whatever is needed to suit your taste. At this point, I'm just gonna take it off the heat and I'm gonna stir in the pasta. So what I'm gonna do is at this point, I'm just gonna put some Parmesan cheese. This is some shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna put about a quarter cup or so and fold it in so it could be nice and cheesy. Oh my God, that looks so good. This alone is a meal in itself, but I'm gonna set it aside because now it's time to make the bechamel. Again, if you're keeping this low carb, do not make the bechamel. Do not mix in the pasta. You could just, at this point, once the meat sauce is done, fill your peppers and your zucchini and, or whatever vegetables you're using, fill them with the sauce, and then you can just top them with your favorite shredded or grated cheese. Mozzarella works well, cheddar, Parmesan, a combination of them, Gruyere, get creative and let me know. And then you would just bake them in the oven until everything is done. But we are using the bechamel because these are pastizio filled. So now it's time to make the bechamel sauce. So in my pot, I have a quarter cup of all purpose flour. To that, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of olive oil. Now you could do olive oil or butter, whatever you prefer. And we're gonna make a roux. So that means we're just gonna cook this over medium heat until the flour is toasted. It just takes about one to two minutes for the flour to get toasted. Now I'm gonna add two cups of cold whole milk and I'm gonna continue to whisk this just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Perfect, now we're gonna season it with some salt, some black pepper, an eighth of a teaspoon. You could even put a quarter if you really like nutmeg, but ground nutmeg. And just keep whisking this until it thickens. Now, right before it comes to a boil, it is going to thicken. Do not step away, do not try to do anything else, otherwise your bechamel will burn. Now what we're gonna do while that's happening, we need one whole egg and one egg yolk. So I'm just gonna separate the egg. There's the yolk, one egg, and I'm just gonna whisk it all up. Now we're just gonna temper the eggs with a little bit of the mixture, cause it has thickened. Now we're gonna add them back to the pot, but off of the heat. And I'm just gonna whisk it all together. And I'm just gonna add the last and final ingredient, Parmesan cheese, shredded Parmesan, and mix it all together. And just like that, the bechamel is ready. Now we're just gonna put everything all together. So the roasted red peppers and the zucchini might have gathered some liquid while, they're, while they were baking. Since they should be cooled by now, just go ahead and turn them upside down and get that liquid out. It can sit at the bottom of the pan. Now go ahead and fill your veggies to the brim with the pasta and ground meat sauce. If some of it falls to the bottom of the tray, that is totally fine. Do not worry about it. It's gonna get nice and crisp when it's roasting in the oven. Now I'm using pasta here. If you didn't mind the starch, but do not, but if you wanna make it wheat free or gluten free, you could use rice instead or any gluten free pasta. So if you have some pasta and meat sauce left over, you can go ahead and put it in a little corner of the baking tray if it doesn't fit anymore into the peppers or the vegetables. Now I'm gonna go ahead and top everything with bechamel sauce. And if you want to make it a little extra decadent, go ahead and top them with some cheese. I'm using shredded Parmesan, but you could definitely do a cheese that melts and becomes nice and stringy like mozzarella or Gruyere. And they're ready. I raised my oven's temperature to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. These are going to bake in the center rack for about 30 minutes or until the bechamel is nice and bubbly and a little bit brown. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. If you want to, for the last two or three minutes, if it didn't brown enough, you could definitely turn on the broiler element, keep a close eye on it so it doesn't burn. I will show you what it looks like as soon as they come out. So the stuffed peppers are ready. They baked in the oven for 30 minutes, and then I did turn on the broiler element for two to three minutes until they got nice and golden on top. 
Again, be sure to keep an eye on them. Let them sit at room temperature for about 10 minutes before you serve them. That would be a perfect time to make a nice salad and these can be brought to the table. These make a perfect weeknight meal. They're healthy, they're delicious. These keep well in the refrigerator so you can take them with you to work the next day or, or send them in the kids' lunch boxes. It is time to take a bite. Mmm, the pepper is so sweet and tender, perfectly cooked. The filling is hearty and of course so delicious. Tastes just like pasticcio. The bechamel topping is a thin layer so it's not super creamy but it's cheesy and just so velvety and delicious. I think you guys are gonna love it. Head on over to the website, DemetrisDishes.com to print this recipe and make it. If you wanna learn how to make these with spanakopita filling, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll bring that recipe to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.